What's up, Dapper Squad? It's Eboy Darius, back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today, we are doing episodes 71 and 72. To all my Kuroko fans, I know this has been a very long time. I apologize in that. I'm going to be getting these out to you as fast as possible. Just, I am very excited to finish this out and then finish the movie. I've seen a clip of the movie. I didn't want to spoil myself, so I like looked away immediately as soon as I saw it was a movie. But, oh my God, did it look insane? So, I am very, very excited. I am loving the ending, loving what's going on right now, loving this match, loving the zone, all that. So if you guys are trying to see early access and the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Make sure you guys subscribe and click that notifications bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out these social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 71. The first one was called I'm Desperate. Let's do it. All right, episode 71. I'm Desperate. Here we go. So it's like Kagami in the zone has to worry about two people because he has to worry about Mayazumi, Akashi, and now that Akashi's gonna pass it to everyone, you know, it's like you got Nebula just gonna ace you down in the paint. There's really nothing you could do unless you're. And that's the, the worst case scenario. I mean, there's really nothing Kiyoshi can do right there. We're down 22. It's like a tool. Heartless, yeah. He's a tool to be used. Yeah. The only thing forcing his body to move. That shred of sense of duty, you know. Akashi is a heartless son of a gun. I can't lie. Willing to do whatever it takes to win. But it doesn't mean it's over yet. Oh! Well, I like. Get that energy going. Come on. Everyone start. Defense! Defense! I'm with you guys. <laughs> Come on. We gotta keep them going. Keep them energized. Poor homeboy does his sonic dribbles. You're barely a hump in the road. Talk about getting on his edge, pushing his buttons. Yeah, I thought that was going to do that. Now he's going to take it serious, serious. The lightning dribble. It always looks so cool when he does it. You do look insanely calm, despite the situation. Here we go. That I love how it's so quiet, it's so slow. Time's frozen right now. And just like that, that lightning dribbles beyond you. It's so fast. Oh, the eagle spear in that fraction of a second. Is it not fast enough? Yoshi trying to stop as well. Mm-mm. God damn it. That was a nice try, though. Yeah, no worries. Don't mind, don't mind. <laughs> For how intimidated he was by the uh, uncrowned kings, you know? Yeah, we're, we're, we're making improvements, progress. We're getting beat. We're going beyond plus ultra. Okay. I love when we can have like this development for people besides uh, Kagami and Kuroko. Like I love all the characters on our team. <laughs> that is exactly what Kagami would say. Let me handle him. He's like, I want to let this rivalry flourish, you know. But don't fuck up is what Akashi's saying. I'll I'll do what you want, but don't fuck up. Because you know when someone's feeling like either of them are, they're only going to go beyond. They're only going to excel, unlock new moves, go crazy. And right now, Hayama's doing it. He's going crazy, but Izuki's going to stop him. And once he stops him, he's going to be stopped for the rest of the game. So that's the big thing. We just got to figure out how to do it. So there goes that first lightning dribble. A pinch. So he can't really stop his momentum. Oh. Not the not the spin. Not the not the spin move. Wow. 
Oh, inside the zone of Kagami. He'll get there in half a second. <laughs> I love how they visualize that. Just that area. It's his kingdom. Good pass. Kogane, come on. Oh, good. Good, good. <laughs> good communication. Teamwork makes the dream work. Izuki with the... Beautiful. You didn't think we knew you were coming? Oh, with Kagami right there. It's crazy how much of a hooper that boy Kagami is. That boy is a baller. Like, I'm choosing him on my team every time. I need that boy Kagami. Now we're actually pushing buttons. When we did it earlier, we kind of activated him, but now we're actually pushing his buttons. Now you fucked up. We're in his head. And just like that, another point for us. We're only down 16 now. We were down 22 earlier. Gosh, he's gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> I am a... He's tracing it all back to himself. Now he's gonna reset. Cool down. At least that's some good self-reflection on his part, you know. I don't want to pause it just because it's very minute, but talk about self-reflection as a player. Like a lot of players, I think I think of like Borrow from Blue Log would immediately blame someone else, and you know, saying "Keep giving to me, I will beat him, I will beat this, that, and the third. But uh, I am a, he was like, "Yeah, I this only happened because of that, which only happened because of that, which only happened because I underestimated him." So he traced it back to the root of the issue, which is himself, and he's like, okay, I'm not gonna... I, I kind of fuck with Hayama for that. That's kind of interesting. See? Most people in a shonen would just go for the rivalry and not have thought about it, but he's being very observant. I like that. You're off the hook. See? Akashi's like, okay, as long as you realize where you fucked up and aren't gonna do it again, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, he would have killed you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's why he said you're off the hook now. <laughs> that is a good point. Don't mind, don't mind. You guys are being locked down like crazy. Yeah, and he's fouled out, man. Just like that. Hell yeah, went from all joking, all serious. Yep. I like that. He doesn't have any prediction or experience skills, but he's just gonna do tune his reflexes and his senses up to yeah maximum his instincts. <laughs> Compared to yeah, compared to them, who's like a black panther, a tiger, a cheetah, a lion, you know, Kogane is like a little kitty cat. But hey, my cat Wilson will fuck me up sometimes. So. Just after yeah. Ah, oh, that was bare. That was this close. That was this close. He's more than just a house cat. Every single time you underestimate us, you get fucking shot for it, you know? Sure I can. Bounce off the backboard over to the alley-oop to Kagami, okay. I'm desperate, that's the title of this episode. <laughs> yes come on i love older sisters in this shit tonica's older sister i love older sisters give me a kogane flashback 
最初から楽しいばっかのスポーツはないし、続けてみてわかることだってあるんだよ。That's a good point. Things might not be fun at first, but then they turn a lot fun once you get the hang of things. Things you realize by sticking with something. Okay, taking the sister's words of advice. You have been. You have seen more upbeat, you know. Oh, yeah, make him go beyond. He's leaping off the floor. If he blow. Oh! He's getting closer, though. So close. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Huga. I, I love that. I can't wait to see it, but you cannot get another foul, man. Oh my god. I'm so, <laughs> I need the end of the show so bad. All right. On to the next episode, episode 72. Let me warn you. He's like, I would not be able to know how to beat him without you. You're the reason I can fight. I'll crush him for you too. Hell yeah. Yeah. You, you're frustrated because you weren't able to succeed in your fight, but you did amazing, Kogane. We still fuck with you heavy. Hmm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. <laughs> you gotta fake it till you make it. Some big smack on the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, that hurt, but you know it set him right. And then boom, just like that, money. No one's gotten threes like that, Captain Hugo. I was about to say, you have to be able to stop him, but you can't foul him. You know how to stop him now, right? According to Kogane. Yeah, he's drawing the foul. <laughs> but he, yeah, he didn't jump. He's just like stationary. He's reading him like a goddamn book. Ooh, tipped it. That's all we need. No foul. No shot made either. And then we need my boy Kyoshi to get the fucking rebound. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes, it does, but no. Please don't injure yourself for this. <laughs> Very true. I won't stop you anymore. Do what you must do. Facts. Let's make him go beyond plus ultra. Oh, the explosiveness. Just like that, the counter attack is real. Rico's over here crying. I love how we all have our interpersonal rivalries on this team. He got fucking Miyuchi, Hyuga, Kagami, Akashi, Kuroko, Mayazumi, Nebuya, uh, Kiyoshi, and Hayama and Izuki. Now we're starting to really get in his mind if he's questioning even his shots. Yeah. Yep. You make this, you still have your confidence. If you miss this, though, like you said, you're betting all your pride. <laughs> Her handprint right there. Not even a tip either. We straight up swatted that bitch. Said, get that shit out of here. Ooh, ooh! 
Ooh, great passes from Izuki to Kuroko to fucking uh, Yoshi. Great pass. Even better with three. You see the gleam in that boy's eyes? That's nothing but net. You know if Mitarima says it's a nice shot, that shit's not going nowhere but in the net. And Akashi hasn't said anything since we've been on this little... That's what I'm saying! What's going on? Damn, he really can't... Can't handle Kagami. Oh, a little Kagami flashback. Oh, Akashi. That was one of the craziest animated moments of the show. Is this a flashback of Akashi after seeing that game, being surprised about the zone and coming? He said, I've known about the zone. He's at the door to it right now. Where Almine said, You can't knock, you have to force your way through. Is my man just instinctively, can he just enter the zone? He just has not even in like the force of the heat of the moment, he just can do it. He's gonna test out his newfound zone. No, one on three. Okay. Oh no, and this is how we're, they're gonna. Oh. As soon as I see a purple or a pinkish trail of lightning off his eyes, I'm gonna be butt hurt. He's gonna smoke them all. We should consider this my trump card. Yep. Yep. And Raguzan could never be in a dangerous situation, so. Title of this episode. I need to know what it is now, I'm butthurt. Oh, a fake out. You are a gangster, Kiyoshi. You are a gangster, sir. My condition, my trigger for entering this condition is what I have to stand. Okay. When I lose hope and abandon you. So he's going to put the four of them on offense and he's going to solo defense. Is that what we're saying here? And just like that, it got snapped. He didn't even move. He's going to turn his head and there's going to be a pink lightning bolt. Oh. <laughs> the way they're animating this. Oh my god. Even in Kagami's zone, he's still putting burners on him. You must lay down. Kneel. <laughs> He's like commanding them what to do. Just before he even had a chance to witness my sublime form and realize there's no hope of you for winning. He literally did that by himself. The only person I could see doing that is like Kisei, Aomine, and Kagami, who could like 1v5 a whole team. Shakes our very existence. Oh my lord. <laughs> hey, he said he could do it. I mean, I know for damn sure we can't do it, so. That's true. There's always going to be one OP person on their team. And eventually we have to rely on our ace. Everybody. He's the ace. God damn it, is that shit get me hyped up? 
And I love how there's so much pressure having the whole team rely on you, except it's not pressure to Kagami. He's excited. He's like, I don't know. I've never opened that door. <laughs> the zone zone. He has to go into the zones zone. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. God damn, this show is amazing. This show, I don't know, man. I know it's been a little bit since I watched it, but this show is too damn incredible. I cannot wait to finish it. I have two more sessions, three more technically, because I have 73, 74, 75, 75 and a half, which is I think like the epilogue or the last episode. And then the movie, woo, I'm excited. That animation of Akashi going in the zone, I'm literally 1v5ing. I love how his trigger for it though. He's like, I have to lose hope or I have to yeah, lose hope and abandon you guys. As if, like, this is my last chance. You know, Rakuzan's in danger. I have to achieve victory for myself. Like it's so insane. Shouts out Kagami. Shouts out Hyuga for everything with uh, Mibuchi. Shouts out Izuki for everything with Hayama. All that shouts out Kiyoshi for everything with Nebuya. There's been so much shouts out Ki uh, Kuroko for everything with Mayazumi. There's so many interpersonal rivalries on this on this game, and I love it so much. And I'm so excited to just keep going, finish this out. Only so close. The animation has been so good. The music, the characters, the moments, everything. The suspense, so good. Loving this immensely. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the, down below in that comment section. Please subscribe. Check out that Patreon for the early access and the full length. I will catch you guys in this next episode. Peace out, y'all.